वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोन टू सॉल्व अ वेरी नाइस इंडाइसिस प्रॉब्लम विच इज इलेवन रेस टू एक्स प्लस लेवन रेस टू एक्स प्लस लेवन रेस टू एक्स प्लस लेवन रेस टू एक्स इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी वन ओके सो फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉट वी कैन डू इज लेट्स ट्राई एंड सिंप्लीफाई थिंग्स यू नो एज मच एज पॉसिबल सो देर आर हाउ मेनी इलेवन रेस टू एक्स देर आर फोर इलेवन रेस टू एक्स ओके सो आई कैन राइट दिस एज नथिंग बट वॉट इलेवन रेस टू एक्स इक्वल्स टू सॉरी नॉट इक्वल टू इन टू फोर equals to one twenty one. Okay, now in order to find the value of x, we'll divide both sides by four. Okay, so this eventually comes out to be what eleven raised to x equals to. Now one twenty one can be written as what eleven square. Okay, and four can be written as what two square. So therefore, I can say. That eleven raised to x equals to eleven upon two, the whole raised to two. But, but now after this we are stuck. So let me write this first. I did this simplification over here. So now let's let's write it over here. Okay. So basically now we came to know that eleven raised to x. Okay. Equals to eleven upon two. The whole raised to two, but after this I can't do much. So what I can do is I can apply log on both sides. Okay. So now the first thing on your LHS we'll use the first law of logarithm, which is what log of a raised to m can be written as what m log a. Okay. So using the same logic, this will look like x. Okay, x is not. I don't know why it's not being written properly. Log eleven. <coughs> okay, and here also I can write this as what two log eleven upon two. So see, please understand when you want to find the log of a fraction. Okay. Sorry, instead of eleven upon two, let me write down the whole rule only. That is nothing but what a upon B that can be written as what log a minus log b. So here also I can write this as nothing but what log eleven minus log two. Okay. Now next step, what we can do is, since we are find, trying to find the value of x, we can divide both sides by log eleven. Okay, so your this gets cancelled. Now please understand, this and this cannot get cancelled. Okay, this is absolutely not allowed because you have a subtraction sign in your numerator. So now in this scenario, what you do is, you can say your x value is nothing but what two times. You split the numerator, so that is what log eleven upon log eleven minus log two upon log eleven. Okay, so this comes out to be x is equals to two into one minus. Now, if they have provided you with the log books, you can directly put the values, which is what zero point three. Zero one upon log eleven. The value is one point um, zero four four. Okay. So now, when you do the calculation, you get the value of x as nothing but one point four two two. Okay. This is one part of your answer. Okay. And if they had not given you the log book. Then we can say that the value of x would have been two times one minus log two upon log eleven. These are the only two values possible for this particular question. Okay, I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.